our students in this video we are trying to complete our practical number 5c that is creating the jsp application to demonstrate the use of jsta now what has been expected in this particular mumbai university curriculum that we have to work with the jstl with the sql that is with the jdbc but first in this video we will try to understand about the jstl and after understanding what is the jstl then we can go for developing a program which will be doing the crude applications or maybe at least a insertion operation by using the jstl so i will divide this program into two parts or divide this particular video into two or three video series in this current video i will be interested in explaining you what is exactly a jstl is so what is the jstl a jstl stands for jsp standard tag library the jsp standard tag library represent a set of tags to simplify the jsp development so that jsp development will be fast the code can be reused and there is no need to use the scriptlet tag so that is the advantage of the jstl now jstl tags are been divided into five types they are core tags function tags formatting tags xml tag and sql tag in every explanation you can find there is one url which has been given many of the student gives a thought okay sir what i will do it i will just copy this particular url and i will paste it inside the browser right so when you try to paste it inside a browser you will find nothing is getting displayed and remember that nothing will get displayed because this is not a url this is a constant this is the constant which represent the xml tag which represent the sql tags etc so let's move ahead developing one jstl application and in which we will be interested in understanding the basic jstl core tags sorry in between this i got some work so i paused the video with the recording let's start working with the jstl core tags so here it comes i am interested in developing my project so i just plan to close the current project and developing the new project so developing the new project in netbins java web web application given a click on next the application name i had given as practical 5c uh, then given a click on next you can use any of the web servers as per your requirement no need to select any of the framework just give a click on finish now when you would like to implement a jstl first of all the jstl jar file need to be present with you how to download the jstl jar file you can go to the browser and you can just specify jstl jar download when you go for jstl jar download you can get this particular download option at the first link itself and this zip file you can download then extract so you will get the jstl 1.2 jar file many of the student just add the zip file don't add the zip file extract it and take the jar file now already i had download this particular jar file over here on my desktop so i'll be using this jar file so jstl 1.2 now what i need to do it i need to implement a jstl in this project so first i need to go to the libraries and plan to add the jar file which is of a jstl 1.2 and given a click on open fine my task is what been over now i need to develop my jsp page along with the jstl so for that reason i had gone to the web page selected new selecting the option called as jsp here i am just saying testing core tags 1 fine so testing core tags 1.jsp is what my file is and i develop a small program over here which help you to go for understanding the basic core tag do not forget to add up the jstl tag library please remember that this is a constant which is referring towards the values which is there inside a jar file so this is not a url which you need to search it on a web so i just copy this tag library and added this tag library inside my jsp page after the page directive so this tag library which is the core tag the prefix will be c so all the core tag will be prefixed by using c so i don't want c i am happy with the name called as a then your core tag will be referred with the prefix as a but core tag is le maine kya dal diya yahan pe c dal diya and now i would like to demonstrate how we can implement the core tag along with some two or three examples so first tag i am taking at c dot out c colon out ye to samajh mein aa gaya ki out dot print len ke jagah pe hum log kya prefer kar rahe c colon out ko prefer kar rahe so we'll find over here i am just using my el expression language सर एक्सप्रेशन लैंग्वेज क्या होता है इसके पहले वाला वीडियो देखो 
practical number 5b ka you will understand what do you mean by the expression language we had seen two example of expression language also so here i had implemented the c colon out value which need to be printed is welcome to by more i give a right click over here selected the option run file and you will find the value that is welcome to by more is getting displayed so instead of using scriptlet now you are using what here jstl tag सर ये तो समझ में आ गया पर अपना फॉर लुक कैसे काम करेगा अपना इफ कंडीशन कैसे काम करेगा उसके लिए हम लोग को वापस एक बार लिखना पड़ेगा क्या स्क्रिप्टलेट नो यार फॉर ऑल दीज एक्टिविटीज लॉट ऑफ कोर टैक्स गिवन ऑलरेडी दिट बिन टॉट इन माय रेगुलर लेक्चर्स सो हियर आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग सम टू और थ्री एग्जाम्पल सो आई एम टेकिंग अनदर जे एस पेज बाई से टेस्टिंग कोर टैक्स टू सो नाउ दिस इज ए टेस्टिंग कोर टैग टू आई वुड लाइक टू इनकॉर्पोरेट माई कोर टैग already i told you you need to add up a directive named as a tag lib for a core tag and prefix need to be mentioned by you so this prefix is what been mentioned by me over here now i need to implement the core tag for the sake of if condition so how to implement the if condition kafi aasan hai to yahan pe hum log kya likh rahe hai maine likha c colon set var income it means what variable income is what been declared the scope is session it is common for all pages and a value which has been assigned by me is 4000 into 4 and then by using if condition i am checking whether my income is above 8000 or not if my income is above 8000 then i will be displaying the value uh, my income is and the output is being displayed over here and if it is getting closed by us So let's try to work with this. So यहाँ पे लिख दिया मैंने एक शादा simple से program. अब ये simple सारा fund आया four thousand into four. That is going to be sixteen thousand ना. So I just run the program. So you will find the output which is getting displayed as my income is sixteen thousand, right? Sir, what will happen if suppose I am planning to provide the income as four hundred into four, right? It is sixteen hundred now. So if it is sixteen hundred, then you will find nothing is getting displayed on a page. Why nothing is getting displayed on a page? Because the calculation condition is not matching. So this is what the simple way by which you can able to go for implementing the simple if condition. So if I would like to implement a multiple if else if condition, then can I do it? Yes, you can do it. For that reason, I had created a small example for you. Where you will find I had set the variable income, the scope is session, the value will be sixteen thousand. It is four thousand into four. Then I am displaying the income value. Then I am using choose. When the income value is less than equal to ten thousand, one thousand income is good. Greater than ten thousand, the income is very good. Otherwise, the income is what undetermined. So otherwise, is like a last else condition. So let's try to work out with this particular program. So I just copied this particular code and pasted in my body of the same page. I will remove this content now. Fine. So I uh, pasted this content over here. That is a when and otherwise ka pattern. Then I am planning to just run the file. Please check. It will be above ten thousand. So it will be displayed as income is very good. But if suppose if I am planning to go for specifying it as forty uh, into four, that comes towards what we can say one sixty rupees, right? So it is one sixty. The specification says that income is very no not good. बराबर ना यहाँ पे लिखा है income is not good. यहाँ पे लिखा है income is very good. Otherwise यहाँ पे तो सर otherwise कब आएगा? अगर मेरा income ये परफेक्टली टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज हो जाएगा तो ना वो लेस देन वन थाउजेंड है या फिर वो रह जाएगा वन थाउजेंड से लेके टेन थाउजेंड के रेंज के अंदर वन थाउजेंड से लेके टेन थाउजेंड का रेंज के अंदर तो इनकम क्या आ जाएगा अनडिटरमाइंड आ जाएगा सर सच में क्या देख सकते हो आप मैंने रन फाइल कर लिया यहाँ पे सो इट इज डिस्प्लेइंग द वैल्यू टू मी ऑफ द अदरवाइज कंडीशन दैट इज इनकम इज अनडिटरमाइंड सो दिस इज द वे बाय विच यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट The core tags of JSTL, JavaScript Standard Tag Library, which you need to incorporate by implementing the tag lib over here. Do not forget to add the library of JSTL jar. If you forget to add the library of JSTL jar, then the program will not 
work. So now let's move ahead. Can I implement a for loop, etc.? So I'm just creating one more JSP page by specifying the name of the JSP page as uh, the string over tag, sorry, over tags three. So when I'm specifying over here, testing for tax three. Now I would like to implement a small for loop over here. How can we implement a for loop? Simple. We can specify in the for each. C is what a prefix for the core tag. For each, the variable J starts with one, the variable J ends with 15 and the value of the variable J should be displayed and the for each is getting closed with a C colon for each. So when I run this program, you can see very well what is happening. It displays me the value as item 1 se leke item 15 tak. Sir, yaha pe kuch nahi hai. Chalo yaar, dekh lete what is the outcome which is getting displayed. Okay, just wait a minute. Kaun sa line nahi hai aap? JSTL ka line to core tag ka hum logo na yaha pe dala hi nahi hai. Is liye kuch nahi aara hai. Perfect hai pranali. So we will try to add up the things inside the tag library prefix. So this tag is been added over here. Normally I am creating video in my lectures only. So the kids also support it. Let's go right click and run file click. So you will find now the prefix score tag has been available. So your item 1 to item 15 will come. But if you are interested, the step should be increased by 2. I mean i value 1 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, like that. So you can provide step equal to 2. So what will happen? It will be going to display 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on up to 15. So this is a simple way by which you can implement a for loop. On the internet you will find various resources which will help you to understand all different core tags. But you should know what is the JSTL. That is the purpose of this particular video. Thanks a lot student for watching this video and please subscribe the channel.